Over the past two years, Lethbridge, Alberta has seen a ton of people move here from places like BC and Ontario. So I thought to myself, why on earth would people be moving from these popular Canadian cities to Lethbridge, Alberta, a city of just 100,000 people? Well, the answer is actually pretty simple. It's because it's one of the most affordable housing markets in all of Canada. So in the second episode of this series, I'm here to answer your questions. We're gonna show you how affordable the Lethbridge housing market is and what you can expect if you're planning on moving to Lethbridge or you live in the Lethbridge area. Now throughout this series, I'm gonna be touring properties listed from as little as $100,000 all the way up to million dollar luxury estate homes. This is the second episode of this series. And in the first episode, I toured properties listed at just $250,000 that I'll link up here. So you can watch that video after this one. Believe me, what you'll see in this video is gonna blow you away, especially if you're from places like BC or Ontario. I mean, what can you actually get for under $400,000 in Toronto? Probably a turd. I've picked out three homes listed just above the average home price here in Lethbridge, which is $350,000. So let's see what just under $400,000 can actually get you. Are there deals to be had? Is it all it's cracked out to be? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. The first property we're gonna see is a fully detached home here in Lethbridge and is listed at $374,000. It has three beds, three baths, and has a attached two-car garage. It's also just under 1,100 square feet Let's go check it out. Okay, welcome to Heritage. And this is the first property that we're gonna be seeing. And here it is just behind me right here. Now, the reason why I chose this house is because it is in Heritage, which is one of the more mature neighborhoods on the west side. Most of the neighborhoods on the west side are pretty new, but Heritage is a little bit older, which means you get beautiful mature trees just like this. Now, as you can see on the outside here, we do have stucco siding, which is great. It lasts a really long time. There's really not that much maintenance to do. And the roof is fairly new as well. And it's actually pretty cute up here. It is very open concept. It's kind of like a bi-level. So when you walk in, you go up the stairs right away. You do have big open windows that looks like they've been updated. They are a dual pane and they are um, all PVC and they look like they're in really good shape. Of course, out here there is a deck and that deck actually wraps around and goes downstairs, which I'll show you when we go down there later. So behind me here is this large and open living room area. Then on this side is your kitchen area, which is again, more open concepts. So you have an island here, you have your stove and your um, fridge over here that are both stainless steel, so super nice. And actually what I really like in this kitchen is this sink here. So this is like a sill granite and it's huge. It takes up almost the entire island, which is good and bad. And then you have your dining room area over on this side with those large, large windows. And then you have your uh, door out to that deck that we just talked about. And then as we move to the house, there is main floor laundry just off this side here, which is awesome. Then we do have another bedroom over on this side. We have a closet, a good size closet over on this side here. This is a really good size bedroom. Now, if you continue through, there is one more bedroom up here, but first there is a bathroom with a shower. And then here, welcome to the primary bedroom. You have this big bay window over here, which is super nice. I mean, they got this little stool over here so you can just soak in that sun. Uh, the sun is gonna be on this side of the house most of the day as well. So you are gonna get that sun like all day through these bay windows, which is gorgeous. And then you do have room for, this is a queen size bed in here. It fits the space really well, but you do have room for a king size if you want it. You also have your walk-in closet behind you on this side and you have your own ensuite. So you have your uh, vanity over here. Now around the corner is actually your shower. Now I'm not saying there isn't any work to be done in this house because this tub's around is fairly dated. Now down here is another large living space. Now I would probably use this as, you know, a theater room or a movie room or, you know, a uh, place to game or for the kids to hang out, whatever. But you also have another good size bedroom over on this side, as you can see. And you also have a good size closet and just look at these windows. Now, because this is a walkout, as you can see here, this really doesn't make you feel like you're in a basement because this is right at ground level here. So you get these windows that are just at like the normal height and they're not like, you know, the basement windows that are just up there. It's horrible. Actually from down here as well, through this door, this is actually your entrance into your garage. And this garage here is actually quite a bit longer than your standard garage. So you could easily fit two cars in here, even a truck. Now this is just an awesome area of the home. 
So right out those doors, out those French doors here, they comes, this comes out to your backyard. Oh, we're getting a little bit too overexposed. There we go. So this comes out into your backyard. As you can see, you have a covered deck down below with this concrete pad. And look how gorgeous this backyard is. You got nice mature trees. You got room for a garden over on this side. They even have a fire pit here. So is this home perfect? No. Is there some work to do? Absolutely. But for $375,000, could somebody make this place a home and make some memories in here? Absolutely. Now, let me know in the comments if you think this home's a good deal. Now it's time to find out what this house would actually cost you month to month. So what we're going to do is jump into my app, which you can find a link to down in the description below. So all you have to do is search up the listing that you're looking at, scroll down and go to the mortgage calculator. The next thing you'll have to do is find out your down payment. Since I've actually filmed this, there's actually been a price drop. So the new price is actually $370,000. So the minimum down payment for you to move into this house as your primary residence would be 5%, which is $18,500. Plus your interest rate, which is 6%, give or take right now, your total monthly payment is going to be $2,537. And that includes property tax. As you can see on this app, it already includes that as well. The next property we're going to tour is listed at $379,000. Now, this is actually a townhome that is brand new, but it's freehold, which means there is no condo fees. And finally, it is located in one of the best family neighborhoods in all of Lethbridge, which is Copperwood. Now, before we continue on, if you're planning to move to Lethbridge or you're moving within the Lethbridge area, down in the description below is a link to sign up for auto listing emails. Basically how this works is you type in your desired criteria of what you're looking for and what your budget is. And the first email that you get is going to be every listing available in Lethbridge. And every time a new listing hits the market, you're going to get an email right away. So you never miss one. Okay. So here we are for the second property tour, which is 1016 Colbrook Gate West, which is located in Copperwood. Now there were seven of these townhomes built earlier this summer. They have all sold except for one more, which I'm going to show you in just one second. But what's kind of cool is that it's right next to my house. You see these over here are actually uh, commercial and residential homes. So I actually bought one of these and my office is actually down below and I live above. So if you do buy one of these, you can actually be my neighbor, which will be pretty cool. Maybe. I don't know if that's a selling feature or not. Obviously the last home we saw was not brand new, but these ones are. So that's like a little bit of the difference and why I chose to show you guys this one. It includes this front landscaping up here with underground sprinklers. Oh look, the underground sprinklers, they're going off right now. There's a little bit of shrubs and some rock root that's been done. So it looks gorgeous. And I just love the front elevation. It's no wonder why these sold so quick. And actually, if you just look just down the street here, there's a traffic circle and there's a pond that you can walk around as well. Okay, now stepping in what is called the entertainment units built by Strandville Living Master Builder. You're going to enter. There's the front door here. We got a coat closet. Don't mind the open house signs, but you do have a coat closet as soon as you come in. And then as you turn around, this becomes your main living area. And over on this side is your open concept kitchen that is nice and bright and white. This is one of the nicest kitchens, especially in a townhome. So if you aren't too familiar with Strandville Living, then you should probably watch some more videos on my channel. But with the Strandville Living Builder Standard is actually quite elevated from the other builders that you'll see here in town. So they do things like the paneled appliances, as you can see here. And what I mean by that is that this is actually the hidden fridge, which is pretty cool. It is a Fisher and Paco, so it is a higher end fridge as well. Counter depth. Literally every time I bring somebody in one of these homes and I show them that this is the fridge, their mind is blown. But it doesn't stop there because this is actually your dishwasher down here. Whoops, this side. <laughs> this is actually your dishwasher over here as well, which is also pretty cool. And it just blends right into the cabinetry and really gives it a high end feel. Now on this side, we have a induction cooktop, which is not electric, it's induction. So if you don't know the difference, to put it shortly, nothing will burn to this and you can boil a pot of water in like 30 seconds. It's pretty crazy. Of course, your hood fan's all tucked away as well. And then you do have a built-in oven and microwave combo over on this side, which is super sleek as well. Now, as we continue through from the kitchen, over here is your dining room area over on this side, again, with more big windows, and you got pot lights up there that overlook the backyard. And then as you come through over here to the back, you have some coat racks over here, some coat hooks, and then your door to the backyard, and then your bathroom is over here. Now, if you're noticing, 
This toilet here is actually one of those floating toilets, and these are also um, specific just to Strandville. Now, before we go upstairs, I just want to show you the backyard here. So for a townhome, this is actually a massive backyard. You do get fence posts that are already put in as well as the rear parking pad back there as well. So you can go ahead and park two car parking back there. Now, as we move upstairs, I did want to point out that these townhomes here are actually fairly big. So this is actually 1400, over 1400 square feet. So the last single family D-Dutch home that I lived in was actually 1300 square feet. So, you know, if you're looking at a townhome, you're thinking there's not gonna be enough space. These are quite spacious. Now behind me here is bedroom number one and bedroom number two. They are fairly the same size. You have a good size closet in here with sliding doors, just like so. And you do have almost floor to ceiling windows in here. These windows are massive are gorgeous and of course you can get a better view of the park from up here as well now what i really like in some of these new homes is that they do things like the usb plugs right next to your bed which is awesome so in this one there's only one in the primary bedroom which we'll see in a second there's actually two now this behind me here is actually the main bathroom for this level so we do have quartz countertops again floating toilet as well as all those black fixtures white cabinetry looks very sharp now, as we make our way over into the primary bedroom, before we get there, there are these French doors right here. So when you open them up, you do get actually a good sized laundry room. Now, as we walk into the primary bedroom over here, this is a ton of space. You can easily fit a king size bed. A queen size would probably be perfect, but if you wanted the king size, I know lots of people do, there would be enough room. Uh, those outlets with USBs on both sides of the bed, which is great. And then back through here is your walk-in closet over on this side. So you have a ton of room and a ton of storage. And then back over here is your ensuite. So of course you have your quartz countertops over on this side, the same finishes as the rest of the house. I really like these LED fixtures as well. And then over here is your walk-in shower. Now, the last thing that I do need to mention is that the basement in this one as well is also unfinished. However, the neighbors next door, they actually finished their basement and I actually really like the layout of it. It turned out so well. So what happens is that you basically get a little office area, another four piece bathroom, another living room and another bedroom with a walk in closet and you get those big long windows along the front. So it's actually a really awesome space down there once you get that finished as well. Now let's jump into my app to see what this house would actually cost you. So at the full price of $379,900 with your down payment of $18,950 at an interest rate again of 6%, your monthly mortgage payment would be $2,412, which also includes the property tax. Now, this is a brand new home, so the taxes actually have not been assessed yet. So the taxes are likely gonna be a little bit more than this, but at least here's a good ballpark for you. The last property we're gonna see is actually another detached home, which is also brand new and is listed at $399,000. This home is a little bit smaller than the last one at just over 1,200 square feet, has three beds, two and a half baths with an unfinished basement, and is also located in Copperwood. It's actually just around the corner from the last one we saw. Okay, now here we are at the third property of this tour. I will show you the outside. I'll just put some B-roll over right now. There is some construction going on, so so it's a little bit noisy out there. So the outside, it's got a pretty cool aesthetic, that's for sure. You do have a porch over here, and then if you turn around, you do have a coat closet over here, and you have this large living room space here. So what I've seen most people do is they put like a couch here and two chairs kind of on this side, and then your TV kind of goes over here on that wall. Now as you move in, we do notice that there is quartz countertops. There are more standard appliances. Those are stainless steel, but there's a really cool feature wall over here. But you got really nice brand new cabinetry. Of course, everything's brand new in this one. This is a new build. You have laminate flooring over here. Then at the back of the house is your dining room area and you even have a little nook for, a, um, for an office space over on this side. And a pretty decent sized pantry too, actually. Now, what I do love about these newer homes is these windows. I mean, just check out how big this window is facing out onto your backyard. There is definitely room for a garage, but you got a pretty decent sized backyard. 
for uh, for new homes you don't really see these but because there's alley access you do get a pretty good size you do also have a powder room on this floor as well now up on this level we do have three more bedrooms including a four-piece bathroom just behind me with more quartz countertops the same cabinetry to match you have tile floors in here and a tub shower surround as well now, these bedrooms over here are actually a pretty good size this one is definitely the smallest probably why they have it set up as an office just like this and then this one here you can definitely fit a queen i wouldn't go any bigger than that but you do have a good size closet over here as well it's decent now as you come down this hall here there is another door but it is not a closet this is actually going to be your laundry room now welcome to the primary bedroom and first off, the first thing you're going to notice is the size of these windows. They are just massive. Do not complain about big windows. These are a feature. And you do have a walk-in closet over on this side. There's also a window in this closet, so you're going to get even more light in here. It's never going to be dim. And then over here is actually your ensuite. So you got your vanity, you got lots of counter space, and you do have your walk-in shower over on this side. I mean, this is a really good use of space. And if you're like me and an ensuite is important to you, pretty nice now yes this style of home is basically your entry-level brand new home build I mean it's under that four hundred thousand dollar range and there's pretty much nothing detached that's gonna come anywhere close to this price that being said it's not gonna be as big as a home that we saw previously that you know is fully developed and there's nothing to do your dollar is gonna go farther if you go a little bit older of a home but that being said you also don't get the new home warranty and it's not a brand new house so Pros and cons. That's for you to decide. And again, tell me down in the description which home you like best. Now, thank you guys so much for touring these last three properties with me. I hope this is a little bit of an eye opener and shows you what just under $400,000 can actually get you right here in Lethbridge, which is one of the most affordable housing markets in all of Canada. So if you guys are planning on moving to Lethbridge or you're living within Lethbridge and looking to make a move soon, please give me a call, text or email. All of my information is down in the description below and I'd be happy to help you out. And finally, I am going to be building out this series some more over the fall and winter months and I do post weekly home tour videos as well well as more informational videos about Lethbridge. So if you guys don't want to miss any of those types of videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye. Okay,